Well, I became a social worker because of um, the passion and commitment that I have for um, making a change in society. But I met this uh, friend in uh, college who was, whose mum was a social worker, so she kept saying to, talking about her mum's career and what she does, and um, she invited me to do some volunteering where they were having some events and things. And then I discovered it's actually a career option. So I was like, okay, so I can do what I enjoy doing and I get paid for that. So okay, there's a no-brainer. That's, that's how I kind of decided this is what I want to do. All right, so it was kind of a really difficult decision because I come from a family where there's mostly teachers and then my eldest brother, he was a social worker and I loved him because I saw him as a role model in terms of what he was doing. Um, and also it was just because I love people and I, and I know it sounds like a cliche, you know, you want to help people, but the best thing is actually to see you've made a difference in a child's life. Um, for me, being a social worker was around um, wanting to help um, children and families in need. Um, I myself had quite a difficult upbringing and for me I wanted very much to give back. I enjoy it. I wake up in the morning and I feel like what I, what I have to contribute means something. Seeing families coming from a certain point and seeing the results um, where positive, sustainable change would have, made, uh, would have been made is what really um, makes me feel um, passionate and want to give more and more in the practice and the profession that I'm in. Um, so it's, it's interesting because I remember vividly going to one of my last lectures at university and them saying the burnout rate for social work is roughly four years. So when I reached the five years, I was like, yes. Um, but to be quite honest, it really is all down personally to me, the local authority that I work for. Greenwich offer something now called a practice academy, which I personally have found really, really useful. So it's not just about your career progression as an ASYE, but also your career progression all the way through. And what I found personally really helpful, particularly after coming back off maternity leave and having that time to reflect is being given that space to talk about where I want to take my career. You feel supported no matter what the challenge is for your day, they are there to support you and see you through um, whether it's a difficult day or whether it's one of those days where you, you truly love what you're doing. I felt supported by my managers and by my colleagues and that made me to be comfortable and to be able to deliver the service uh, that was expected of me and that has helped me to um, develop from being a social worker, I then become a practice manager and now I'm a team leader. I think you feel part of an extended family more like. Yeah, and you love the work as well. Oh, I love the work, yeah, it's a bonus. Ha, ha, ha.